So what does a fertility workup involve? My name is Dr Fleur Catrell and I am a Melbourne IVF fertility specialist. So if you're having trouble falling pregnant, you'll want to go and see a fertility specialist so we can organise some tests to work out why you're not falling pregnant. So if we start with the female, uh, then we will look at ovulation. So are you producing an egg? So to do this, the fertility specialist will ask you about your cycle length. So that is the time from your day one, your first day of period, until your next day one. And the textbooks would say that's 28 days, but it could be 24 days, it could be 35 days, it could vary every month. So leading up to your appointment with your fertility specialist, record this. This will be a good starting point for discussion about ovulation. So some, some women have already tracked through their cycle and they've done some urine ovulation tests or they've done uh, some basal body temperature testing and they can um, show this to their fertility specialist and this can be a bit of a guide for the fertility specialist on what needs to be done next. To confirm ovulation, we often will do a blood test about a week after the egg's been released or in a 28 day cycle, when we think ovulation happened day 14, we'll do a blood test day 21. Uh, after ovulation, the ovulation site becomes a progesterone producing factory and the progesterone gets the lining of the uterus ready for pregnancy. So doing the blood test a week after ovulation can confirm that uh, the progesterone is rising ready for implantation. The other thing that the, the fertility specialist will look at is your heaviness or your pain of your periods. Now this is hard to know if it's normal, but first day of period, a little bit of period pain relieved with simple pain relief is probably normal. But if it's quite severe, you need time in bed, uh, you uh, have very, very heavy periods, then this is the clues that the fertility specialist will be looking for. So the next step after taking a history and uh, will be to organise a pelvic ultrasound. And this will look at a female's anatomy. Do they have a normal uterus? Do they have normal ovaries? So on the ultrasound, we'll be looking for things like, is the lining of the uterus uh, normal? Are there any polyps? Uh, which is an overgrowth of the lining of the uterus, is it overgrowth of the wall of the uterus called a fibroid. We'll also be looking at the ovaries. The ovaries sometimes contain ovarian cysts, which can help, uh, can prevent couples fall, fall pregnant. Uh, the other thing we look at is the ovarian reserve. Now we do that with both the ultrasound, looking at the ovaries, and we look at what's called the antral follicle count. So this is a baseline egg number, uh, and we'll be counting these in each ovary. And we also look at the ovarian reserve in the form of a blood test called the anti-malarian hormone. Anti-malarian hormone is released from the total pool of eggs in the ovaries and gives us a bit of a guide of your ovarian reserve. So the ultrasound and the um, anti-malarian hormone together will tell us whether your egg numbers are normal for your age, low or high. They don't, however, tell us about egg quality. We'll be looking at your female age to give us a guide on, on egg quality. Now, the other thing that we think about with women is, is there a pathway for the sperm and the eggs to meet? Now, we do this uh, by looking at your anatomy on the ultrasound and we're looking at the fallopian tubes. But the fallopian tubes are really hard to see on a basic ultrasound. So we need to take the next step. And your fertility spe specialist may recommend to you a further test to uh, put some fluid through the fallopian tubes to confirm that they're open and not blocked. This can be done in the ultrasound department where a speculum is put in, a bit like having a pap smear, and then a little catheter is put through the cervix and fluid is put through to confirm that pathway is open. For men, we look at the semen analysis 
Now this is a classic test to confirm male men are fertile. On this test, we're looking at the count, uh, the quality, the movement and the shape. And we also look for anti-sperm antibodies. So there you go. They're the initial steps that a fertility specialist will take to do a fertility workup. When you come back to see your fertility specialist, with, they will have all the results for you and then we'll go through them and work out if there's a, any other tests that we need to do. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. Good luck on your fertility journey. And if you have any comments, leave them below. If you want to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button. Take care and have a good day.